Hello, this video will highlight the newest features available in the new CN Maestro 4.1.0 release. The CN Maestro 4.1.0 release is now available. The newest features in CN Maestro include CN Maestro X Assurance, a personal Wi Fi SSID, EPSK lifecycle management, two new features for the NSE. Assist at a site level, graphical reports, and APIs for CN Matrix switch groups. Please note that I have added the timestamps next to the features as they appear on the video. This allows you to go straight to the feature if you wish to review it at a later time. CN Maestro X Assurance is an AI based advanced troubleshooting and analytics solution that helps IT administrators improve the end-user experience on their networks. X-Assurance is initially available as a free trial to all X customers. Starting in the first quarter of 2024, it will require a paid subscription. A root cause analysis engine in X-Assurance captures vital information about client connections, whether they are successful or not. It generates client reports containing various details like latencies, IP addresses, usernames, and more. For failures, it identifies possible reasons such as authentication issues or DHCP or DNS problems, making it easier to troubleshoot and resolve. X-Assurance also monitors the health of Wi-Fi access points, the network, and RF characteristics to detect issues. Based on this, it will alert on issues such as low signal strength, excessive channel utilizations, and problems with DNS or DHCP servers. X Assurance is available in CN Maestro X Cloud, but not in CN Maestro X on premises. Let's say that I am a network administrator and I just received a call that an end user cannot connect to the Wi Fi network. To quickly identify the problem using X Assurance, I go to CN Maestro and select the site in the network tree where the problem is occurring. Then I go to the Analytics page. The Analytics page displays the network health information, focusing on the errors that have recently occurred. I can choose the time range displayed, either the past hour, the past 24 hours, the past seven days, or I can select a day to focus on. The Connection Health section shows me the date and time when the problems occurred. And the Top Failures Across Phases chart shows me the types of failures that occurred. The page also shows me the APs where the problems are occurring and an analysis of the percentage of failures within the different phases of the client connection process. Successful events are displayed in green, and events that experienced errors are displayed in red. I can select the different phases where the problems occurred, and the system will focus on the events for that phase. For instance, I can select DHCP, and a DHCP failure chart that displays when DHCP failures occurred, and also a table that displays information about the client device that experienced the problems. And I can do the same for DNS. I can also select a time period and drill into the number of events for that time period. In this scenario, I can see that the student one client device is experiencing problems with authentication, DHCP, and DNS. To drill down even further, I can click on the host name of the device to review the events pertaining only to that client device. The dashboard displays client device information and client history information, such as throughput, connection times, roaming events, and disconnection times. I can go to the Lifecycle Events section 
and click on the timestamp of one of the failure events to display a page that gives me information about that error. In this case, I can see that DHCP is having problems. Specifically, the DHCP server is not returning acknowledgments, and I can follow the suggested resolution provided by the system. I can also go to the lifecycle page and zoom in to events on the session timeline. Then I can select any of the events to be taken to a page displaying detailed information about the failed event and a suggested resolution. In this case, I can see the end user is using an incorrect password when trying to authenticate to the network using an EPSK. This is another event where the DHCP server is not responding, and the system offers several suggestions for the resolution. Personal Wi-Fi is a solution designed to address requirements in the multi-dwelling unit and similar hospitality-related networks. Each user on the network effectively operates on their own secure Wi-Fi network, similar to having a personal Wi-Fi router. Users can seamlessly roam across a property with ubiquitous connectivity while maintaining their own personal security via a unique EPSK and unique VLAN. This functionality is provided with a unique SSID for the user in their personal space, but with a common property SSID in public areas. Credentials are common across all networks and roaming is seamless to the user. For property managers, this personalized approach ensures tenant privacy and security while minimizing administration overhead. To create a personal Wi-Fi network, go to Configuration, Wi-Fi Profiles, Wireless LANs, and open the wireless LAN you wish to work with. Then go to the EPSK page and enable Personal Wi-Fi and then click Save. Now go to the network tree and select the AP where this personal Wi-Fi SSID will reside. Then go to the Configuration page and under Advanced Settings go to the Wireless LANs page and locate the SSID that was created for the personal Wi-Fi network. Then enable the SSID and then change the SSID to the personal SSID for the customer, and then enable the SSID, enter a new passphrase, and then enter the VLAN this network needs to be placed in, and click Apply Configuration. EPSK Lifecycle Management Configuration offers a range of benefits for managed Wi-Fi services. EPSK ensures a secure and hassle-free experience for residents, eliminating the need for manual management of numerous PSKs. To configure and manage EPSKs, open up the wireless LAN that the EPSKs have been created in and go to the EPSK page. To edit the PSK, select the PSK and click the Edit button. The new EPSK features include automatic expiration of EPSKs, seamless renewal of EPSKs, and inline modification of these EPSKs, all aimed at simplifying the management process. For added convenience, EPSKs are set to deactivate automatically on specified future dates, such as a residence move-out date. Network managers can easily adjust these termination dates in the event of any changes, ensuring a smooth and efficient Wi-Fi service for all residents. CN Maestro 4.1 adds support for assists at the site level of the network tree. This provides valuable insights 
recommendations, and troubleshooting assistance specific to each site's network environment. With assists, network administrators gain enhanced visibility, proactive recommendations, and improved efficiency in managing their networks. Assist empowers administrators to quickly optimize performance and resolve issues at the site level. To access Assist at the site level, go to Monitor and Manage and open a network and select a site that you want to review. And then go to the Assist page. This page will contain the information discovered in the daily scan of the network devices. To drill in to one of the issues, click the title. The Devices page will show you all the devices with this specific issue. Then go to the Details page to review the remediation recommendations. CN Maestro 4.1 now offers graphical reports to represent data visually for easier consumption and summarization. These reports can be customized with branding and created at different levels in the hierarchical tree, such as the managed service, the system, or a site. Each graphical report consists of widgets, presenting data in graphs and charts, and tabular representations. The available widgets cover various metrics, including client connections, manufacturers, client capabilities, and traffic over time. Generating graphical reports involves creating templates with selected widgets and applying them to the desired hierarchy level and then scheduling for a one-time or a scheduled execution. The output is a PDF file containing the graphical representation of the data. To create a graphical report, select the node in the hierarchical tree that you want to run the report on and it could be at the system level, an account level, a network level, or a site level. Then go to the Reports page and click Add New Graphical Report. The first thing you'll need to do is create a report template. So click the Add New link next to Template. Give the template a name, and then select the scope. In this case here, this will be a site, and then give the report a title. You can select a logo and a brand image, and then click the Add button. The next step is to add widgets to your report. So next to Pages, click the Add New button. And then on the Add New Pages pop-up window, select the pages that you want to add to the report. And then click the Add button. And finally, save this report template. Now, to run the report, go back to Monitor and Manage and select the site. And click Reports and then Add New Graphical Report and give the report a name. And select the template that you just created and then click the Add button. And the report will run immediately and when the job is finished go to the completed page and download the report to your local system. CN Maestro 4.1 introduces enhanced DNS-based content filtering for the NSE. There are over 84 new categories, including productivity, privacy, sensitive, IT resources, and security. These additions enable filtering for specific use cases. For example, compliance with the Children's Internet Protection Act in the United States for educational institutions. Granular content control helps to ensure a secure and safe network environment for users. To configure the content filters in the NSE, 
go to Configuration, NSE Groups, and open your NSE group. Then go to the DNS Filters page. Under DNS Filter Mode, select Filtering, and then under Policies, click the Add New button. Give the policy a name, and then select the types of websites you want to block with the DNS content filters. And then click the Add button. CN Maestro 4.1 adds WAN failover policies and groups for the NSE. WAN failover policies work with load balancing in that if you configure traffic to use WAN port 1 100% of the time and only use WAN port 2 in the event of a failure, then failover policies will restrict traffic using WAN 2. For instance, if you configure a failover policy for YouTube and WAN port 1 fails, then all traffic except YouTube will be redirected to WAN port number 2. Groups enable easy management and configuration of multiple devices and simplifying network setup and maintenance. You can create groups based on users, an IP subnet, or applications. To configure a WAN failover policy, go to Configuration, NSE Groups, and open your NSE group. Then go to the WAN page. Expand the Failover Policy section and click Add New. Add a precedence and configure the type of policy. Will this be IP based or application based? If it's application, will it be a specific application or a category of applications or a application group? In this case, I will want to block YouTube from using WAN port number 2 in the event that WAN port number 1 fails. So I select the application YouTube and then click Add. To create a management group in the NSE, go to Configuration, NSE Groups, and open your NSE group, and then go to the Groups page. On the Groups page, you can create groups based on users, an IP subnet, or an application. To create any of those groups, click the Add New button, give the group a name, and then apply this group to all subnets or specify a particular subnet. CN Maestro 4.1 introduces APIs for Cambium CN Matrix switches, extending its existing API support for Wi-Fi APs and AP groups. The new APIs enable get and set operations for switch groups, switches, and switch ports. The APIs enable customers to integrate Cambium solutions with their own management systems and automate operational processes. Both switch configuration and monitoring functionality are available via these APIs, replicating functionalities provided by CN Maestro. Okay, this concludes this video highlighting the latest features in the CN Maestro 4.1 release. Thank you for your time and have a great day.